Okay, welcome to ukulele slash music theory 101. Uh, to know if you're ready or not for this lesson, just ask yourself two questions. One, can I count from one to five? Check. Do I know my alphabet from A to G? Check. Well then great, then you're ready. Um, the basic premise behind this lesson is to show you the big three chords. If you've ever seen an ad or a commercial, um, how to play piano instantly, uh, learn the big three chords and play be able to play hundreds of songs right away uh, This is how they do it. It's it's for real uh, The big three chords are called the one chord the four chord and the five chord or the tonic the subdominant and the dominant But for now, let's just stick with the one four and five what that means is if we're in the key of say we're in the key of C we're gonna make C Number one, keep in mind that when you go through the musical alphabet, you stop at G, you go back to A again. You don't go on to H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. So, for example, if we're in the key of C, uh, that means C is going to be number one. You go down the alphabet, D is number two, E is number three, F is number four, G is number five, number six would be A again, number seven is B, and number eight is A. I mean C. Um, so you know the cycle repeats itself at number eight. So the one chord and the eight chord is the same thing. Um, so let's say we're in the key of C and I said play the one chord. Well then you just play the C chord. Okay we're in the key of C. Play the four chord. C, D, E, F. F is the four chord. Okay staying in the key of C let's play the five chord. C, D, E, F, G. Okay, that'd be G. And then go back to the one chord again, C. Okay, so play a one, four, five, one chord progression in the key of C. C, F, G, C. Already, doesn't that sound like a, a million different songs that you know? Okay, did that sound familiar to you? Did it sound like something that you might have heard before? Uh, if you said La Bamba, you'd be correct. If you said Twist and Shout, you're also correct. If you said Guantanamera, you'd still be correct. So this will show you that these songs that you're already familiar with, you've heard for a million times, uh, they're basically a 1-4-5 chord progression, which means that if you heard this a similar song on the radio, you might not necessarily be able to tell it's in the key of C because you don't have perfect pitch. But you know what the chord progression is. It's a 1-4-5-1 one chord progression. So let's uh, apply this same theory to the key of G. Okay, so that means we're in the key of G, so therefore G is now the one chord. Okay, go through the alphabet. G is number one. Go back to A, number two, B, C. C is number four. Okay, what's number five? G, A, B, C, D. D is the five chord. So we can play G, C, D. Doesn't that sound exactly the same as it does in the key of C? The only difference is that if you're actually singing it, you know, you'd be singing in a different register, and which, you know, maybe C is more comfortable for you to sing in, maybe G is more comfortable. It's up to you. <clears throat> so I'll play a 1, 4, 5 in the key of C again, which is what? C, F, and G. Let's do it in the key of G. G, C, D. G, C, D. One, four, five. And you can mix these up, you know, <clears throat> a number of different ways. Uh, for example, if we 
change the order and let's say we did one four one five one in the key of G that means you have G C number four one G five is D so sound like a song that you have uh, heard before, you know? Right, so Brown Eyed Girl is a 1-4, one, 1-5-1 one, one chord progression, basically. Um, you can also do how about a how about another one four how about one four five four one so in the key of G that'd be G one C is four D is five and then back to four is C and go back to G okay so a one four five four one chord progression. Okay, if I played it in this rhythm. Uh, good Lovin', right? By the Rascals. It also sounds like Paul Simon's, um, what's that? Me and Julio, down by the schoolyard. Okay, so just knowing those three chords, one, four, and five, will open up a whole lot of doors for you. Uh, next time we'll talk about the Hawaiian vamp and how to really quickly and easily figure out a Hawaiian vamp in different keys and uh, chord progressions in the typical Hawaiian song. I uh, hope you like it. Have fun.